Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I pulled out some of my favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury, and we'll just be getting ready and creating today's makeup look. I figured with the Sephora sale coming up and all of the deals and promotions she has going on on her website, this would be a fun way to get inspired, create a dewy spring makeup look, but also show you some of my favorite products in action. I'm ready to get started. I've swept my hair back. I've moisturized. So the first step is to go in with the Wonder Glow. This is the Illuminating Primer. And I'm taking a very small, tiny pea size amount on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna smooth that all over my face using my fingers. I always like to start by blending in the center and blend out. You don't necessarily have to put this all over the entire face unless you want to. just gives the most beautiful glow to the skin and it doesn't feel sticky or greasy it's really nice and light my favorite Charlotte Tilbury foundation is the Airbrush Flawless. I remember when this first came out, it was a bit of a struggle. Now that I know my correct shade, I use 6 Neutral. I love this foundation. It is very full coverage, so you don't need a ton and it's pretty matte, so it's not going to be for everybody, but if you can make this work, it perfects your complexion. You really cannot see anything but smooth, poreless skin. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a great liquid illuminator from Charlotte and I use the shade 3 Light Medium. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I've always wanted to pick this up in a lighter shade to highlight. I did about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. And then this applicator always makes me laugh because it's this giant doe foot wand, which is great for spot application, but in terms of getting it out to mix into your foundation, it's not great. But that's okay. And then I'm just going to use my little ring finger, mix that together. Tonight is the night I'm going to clean all of my makeup brushes. I can no longer put it off. I think that was the first thing I saw so many people posting as soon as quarantine began. They were like, ooh, well, I have so much time. I'm going to do a spa day at home, clean all of my makeup brushes. I've been meaning to. I say I'm going to every day, and then it gets late and I just don't. And I love clean makeup brushes. I don't even mind the process of cleaning them, but it is a little bit more time consuming because I don't like to clean a couple brushes at a time. If I'm gonna clean them, I'm going to clean all of them. <laughs> so it is a bit of a process. I do have one clean foundation brush. Thank the makeup heavens. This is from Marc Jacobs. I highly recommend this brush in case you're looking for a new foundation brush. so fast <laughs> because this kabuki is so huge I feel like I can blend out my entire face in a matter of seconds faster than any other makeup brush done <laughs> that foundation dries down pretty quickly I forgot how fast it dries because I haven't worn it in a while I really can't see any of my freckles which I don't mind I like when my freckles show through but it doesn't look heavy either, it's just beautiful. I'm not sure it will still be going on by the time I post this video, hopefully it is, but Neiman Marcus is having 50% off of Marc Jacobs Beauty. You guys let me know, so thank you. I placed an order today, I picked up a pink liquid eyeliner, a blue eyeliner that looks very pretty and unique, and I also picked up another face brush, not this exact Kabuki, it's meant for liquid foundation, I think it's the face one maybe but that brush is not available at sephora this brush is but then this brush isn't available at neiman marcus so you just kind of have to check both websites but the 50 percent off is the better deal so hopefully it's still going on i would highly recommend any of these brushes they're so great next i'm going to highlight using the hollywood flawless filter this is my favorite way to use this product and it's part of the reason why i want to pick this up in a lighter shade so I'm just going to dab this in all of the areas where I want a little extra glow, high points of the face, but I do it anywhere in the center of the face where I want some light reflection. So I'm gonna take it right here. I'm not going directly underneath my eye because that's where I'm going to apply my concealer, but just kind of in this little triangle area right here. Before I blend that out, I'm going to apply my concealer. I've used the Charlotte Tilbury concealer in the past. 
And to be honest, I don't really remember if I had strong opinions one way or another, um, but I don't own it, so it must not have been mind-blowing. Maybe I need to try it again, but I'm just going to dab a little bit of this Pat McGrath Labs. And you only need such a small amount. What I've started to do, and I know it looks like I applied a lot, there wasn't a ton of product on the brush and it's very light, but I only apply it underneath the eye and then with any excess product, then I go in my T-zone and even prime my eyelids because I found that if I try to apply it all over my face, it's just too much product. I don't really need that much. So I'm gonna blend that out. It mixes in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter and it just gives that smooth, perfected, but still glowy under eye really pretty. Now I have some excess on my brush, so I'm going to use it to prime my lids. You never really see a matte face on any of her models. She loves that radiant glow, really wet, just kind of beaming luminous skin. And it's beautiful. She does it perfectly. But it never feels too much, it never feels forced, it never looks greasy. The one exception I would make for her flawless face is the Airbrush Powder Compact. And I know so many people love that powder, they swear by it, it has a cult following. I picked it up because I heard such great reviews and I didn't really get on with it. It's not my favorite, so today I'm going to use my favorite, which is the YSL 3D All Over Glow. It's beautiful, it's the perfect setting powder because it still has some luminosity, but not too much. The Charlotte powder was nice. I think 10 years ago when I was still pretty combination, even combination oily, I would have been obsessed with that powder. Now, I have to be so careful with powders. That's why I really love this because it's more of a creamy, very fine texture and it has some luminosity to it, but not too much. It's not a highlighter, but that powder made me look completely flat. It was so strange. I almost picked up the Pat McGrath Labs powder. If any of you guys have tried it, you'll have to let me know. I It got great reviews. It was like four or five stars, I think, on the Sephora website. But as I started reading reviews, some of the people who rated it really well still said that it was kind of dry. I may still end up trying it. Powder is tough. It never used to be. I used to just love every powder and would just cake it on my face. But now, if I apply too much, it ends up looking terrible. Look at all of that glow. It's so pretty. I can't name a single other compact powder like this that will achieve that same effect. I call this my instant skin perfector. It's beautiful. Number one Sephora sale recommendation. Now to bronze. I'm going into this Filmstar Bronze and Glow, the face sculpt and highlight. I'm not going to use the highlight side, just the bronze. The brush I've been using for bronzer, I've received a couple questions about it. This is an old Chanel brush and sadly, they no longer carry this brush. I think they have something similar, but it's not exactly the same. Something else I might add to my cart from Charlotte is the cream contour sticks. Those are amazing. I've tried them before, I love them. That may end up coming home with me as well. For blush, I picked out the original Pillow Talk. This is such a pretty shade, and I think this is going to work for the majority of skin tones. They do have a deeper version. I just love this color. I was torn between using this one and Ecstasy. That's another one of my favorite blushes from Charlotte Tilbury. It's pretty. Mm, so natural. I'm going to dust it up on my temples a little bit and a little bit on my nose. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Beauty Light Wand and I chose the original. I also really like the Pillow Talk, but I think this one just beams off the cheek a little bit more. I unlocked it and squeezed out a little bit of product. 
Well, actually, that's a lot. <laughs> Way more than I needed to, not a little bit. And I'm just going to tap this on the cheek. Looks so pretty. And I never worry that it's going to break up my foundation or it's going to move anything and ruin my makeup. And it, it never happens. It's just not something I even have to think twice about. For eyes, I'm going to be incorporating two different palettes. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette that I'm obsessed with. You're probably sick of hearing me talk about it, so. I'm sorry, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it some more. I also have here the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops, which is all celestial shades. So we are going to put some shimmer on the lids, but I usually begin with a matte eyeshadow. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm just picking up a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm just working this in the outer crease. I'm going to blend it in, but I wanna concentrate the color on the outside. I told you guys I picked up some pieces from Marc Jacobs Beauty today. I also made a purchase on the Pat McGrath Labs website. I am so excited. I purchased the eyeshadow palette that I wanted, Bronze Decadence. I also picked up one of the Blitz Trance lipsticks and the sale was so much better than if I had waited for Sephora, which I'm not even a VIB Rouge, I'm only VIB, which is crazy considering how much makeup I purchased, but I get a lot of things from department stores and her sale was 25% off anyway, so it beats everything. I cannot wait to get that package in the mail. I am so excited to finally play around with some of her eyeshadows. My first palette ever from her. And the lipstick looks really pretty as well. There's so much pressure to make sure you get the right stuff. But you know what? I feel like all of the retailers are sort of having their own VIB sale. Everybody is offering discounts or money off something to stay competitive right now. So on the one hand, it's kind of crazy. You don't want to go overboard, but if you miss one sale, you don't have to stress or worry about it because there will be plenty of opportunities to probably purchase the same product at the same discount or even a dip deeper discount. I picked up my palette of pops with the synthetic brush and I'm going into this pink shade right here. really have to get in there, but it is possible to pick up product on a brush. I know the shadows are best applied with fingers, but if you're trying to be more precise, a brush is really nice. That's working. You'll have to let me know how you guys are feeling about this sale. Are you excited? Do you have things picked out? Or have you been shopping other retailers? Next, with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going into the dream part of this Pillow Talk palette and I'm picking up this matte raspberry. And I don't want this to become too jewel toned, but I am going to go in a little bit just in the outer V. I had no plan for this look, so I'm, I'm winging it and hopefully it looks nice at the end. Now I just need to blend, 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 blend. With a little precision brush, I'm taking this very first shade and this is going in the inner corner. I'm gonna wrap it around and kind of blend it into that bottom shadow. Today I will be using two different eyeliners from Charlotte Tilbury and these are both favorites. I have the Mesmerizing Maroon, double-sided, and the new Feline Flick. I am so happy they got rid of the old one and they changed it because the new version is amazing. But first I'm gonna take the metallic side of this maroon. I'm lining my waterline with this eyeliner. I 
eyeliner and mascara are both complete. We're almost done. I took an eyeshadow brush. I picked up a little bit of that excess cream highlight and I'm going to go right underneath my brow. I think the cream highlight is probably one of the top five, maybe top three best Charlotte Tilbury products. It's just so beautiful and versatile and it just does everything. So the last step now is lips. I pulled out a combination of three items. I can't find my Pillow Talk lip liner anywhere. So instead I'm going to go in with Pink Venus. I wanted to do something light pink so it wouldn't clash with my dress. So I'm going in now with Dance Floor Princess. This was one of the hot lips. Ugh, I didn't realize how dry my lips are. Last step, I pulled out the Pillow Talk Collagen Bath. I love, love, love this lip gloss. It's so pretty. Mm. It does have a light minty tingle, nothing crazy. I know some people are bothered by that. I really like it, um, but you know it's nice when it's not too extreme. I'm hungry right now and this is making me crave peppermint bark. I know it's not the season at all. Mm. But that minty smell, oh my gosh, what I wouldn't give for peppermint bark right now. I wonder if you can still buy it. Sometimes when I finish my lip, I realize I still need to balance out my cheeks a little bit. So I'll go in with whatever's left on my blush brush and just dust a little bit of that on the cheeks. Blush tends to disappear as well. So even if it looks a little bit heavy, it's going to dissipate and it'll fade. That completes the makeup look using some of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products, but truly these are some of my favorite products in my entire makeup collection. For a relatively new brand, and I know Charlotte's been around for a while, I still consider her somewhat new. She has some of my favorite lipsticks, some of my favorite complexion products, some of my favorite eyeshadows. That's pretty incredible. That's impressive in my book. I always look forward to the things that she's coming out with next. She always does a great job for holiday and her limited edition special pieces, but she has some incredible core products too, all of which have been represented today. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.